Hello everyone, what is load balancing? This is what we are going to talk about today. It's an extremely important and interesting topic. Stay focused. So load balancing is a technique or process of distributing network traffic across multiple backend servers. It allows you to equally distribute network traffic to prevent failure caused by server overloading. The main purpose of load balancing is to make sure not a single server has to bear too much workload that ultimately improves websites responsiveness network performance and reliability let me give you an example let's say a superstore has five checkout lines only one of them is open all customers must get into the same line and therefore it takes a long time for customers to pay their grocery bills now imagine store has opened all five checkout lines. So in this case wait time for customers is about five times shorter. So everyone quickly pays for their grocery bills depending on the shopping items. So load balancing works in the same way by dividing user requests among multiple servers. This way users wait time is vastly cut down which results in a better user experience. I hope you got the basic idea, right? Now let's get into its technical details. Basically, load balancing works with the help of a device, what's called a load balancer, which acts as a traffic cop that sits in front of servers and clients. What it does is route client requests across all the backend servers to fulfill those requests in an efficient way that maximizes speed and capacity utilization. For example, when a load balancer receives requests from clients, it routes the requests to the servers in a server group. Each server receives the request and responds to the clients via load balancer. Load balancer receives the responses and matches the IP addresses of the clients with the selected server. It then forwards the response to the clients. This process continues in the same fashion for each request. Sometimes load balancer performs SSL function where it is required. It's the process of decrypting data using secure socket layer encryption protocol so that servers don't have to do it. Okay, so this is how basically load balancing works. Without load balancing, server can go down when demands gets too high. A single server can receive hundreds or thousands of client requests at the same time. So load balancing plays an important role in that situation. It makes sure that no server is overworked. That could degrade performance. Now let me tell you one more thing which is worth mentioning. Load balancer performs a failover technique. So what happens in this technique? When a server goes down, Load balancer redirects traffic to the remaining online servers. Server failover is crucial for reliability. If there is no backup in place, a server crash could bring down a website. So it's important that failover takes place quickly to avoid a gap in service. Moreover, when a new server is added to the server group, load balancer automatically starts sending requests to it. Okay, now these are the critical tasks which are done by the load balancer. Performs health checks to ensure availability and prevent issues that can cause downtime. Provides centralized security across the group of servers that is easier to manage. Automatically detects server failure and redirects client traffic. Provides automated disaster recovery to backup websites adds and removes server without disruption, monitors and blocks malicious content. Now load balancer comes in different flavors such as hardware based and software based. Hardware based are physical devices that come with specialized and proprietary built-in software that are designed to handle massive amounts of website traffic. Normally vendors pre-install proprietary software onto dedicated hardware and sell it to customers as a standalone product. Software based are applications that perform 
all load balancing functions and you can install them on any server they are usually easier to deploy than hardware based and also more cost effective and flexible okay now the final part load balancers determine which server should handle each request based on a number of different algorithms we will discuss this portion in the next video stay tuned